brain tech yeah where tech is made simple so it seems that once again microsoft is having a bad week when it comes to updates for both windows 11 and windows 10 and the first which i did post on a couple of days ago was kb5013943 for windows 11 which was windows 11's patch tuesday cumulative update for this month may 2022 which was crashing some .NET Framework 3.5 apps. And I will leave a link to that video down below if you're interested. Now, this time it's Windows 10's turn. And this month's Patch Tuesday cumulative update for Windows 10, which was KB5013942, is now apparently causing issues for some Windows 10 users. Now, this update, 5013942, as many of you know, it was a compulsory mandatory automatic update and was a security update which also contained bug fixes and apparently um, it's now causing issues on Windows 10 for some users um, according to feedback on the Microsoft uh, Feedback Hub uh, regarding this update where uh, the update can actually not be installed for some users. So it's failing to install and the main problem though it seems to be causing is with uh, the event viewer. Um, after installing KB5013942, some users are reporting that they can't launch the event viewer. Now, uh, if you don't know what the event viewer is or where to find it, you can just do a search for event viewer. But basically, the event viewer is an administrative tool, which is mainly used by um, system administrators. And um, if we just open that quickly, um, as you can see, mine is working, but there are user reports that this is crashing for some users. Uh, the event viewer is used to monitor logs, errors, alerts, and warnings on your system. So basically, it's an administrative tool. And um, Microsoft say, though, that they have confirmed and are aware of um, issues with KB5013942. But at this stage, um, that's all they're saying. There is no fix. So hopefully, they will roll out a fix sooner than later. And uh, um, over and above, um, uh, the event viewer uh, crashing and not being able to uh, open. Uh, there's also apparently reports of errors, an error code uh, 0xc0000094, which has also been generated after installing KB5013942. So if you are experiencing those issues, unfortunately, as mentioned, there's, um, Microsoft has confirmed no fix yet, but hopefully a fix will roll out and with the C release update, at the end of this month which is a bug fix update which roll out those bug fix updates roll out at the end of every month so hopefully that that fix will roll out sooner than later and by the end of this month so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one